I'm Aussie Griffin and this is a uh, it's actually a thank you video uh, to my friend Milan Jeftik and a slight rant about bad skeptics so Friday about two days ago I'm having a discussion with Milan you know he's had a long day like he's exhausted he's uh, had his personal trainer not only working him hard however getting on his case about not doing enough you know work on his body and I'm just like dude and he's like, I know, and I'm like, anything I can do, you guys just talk to me about anything, it's all good, I just use the background noise, and I say, cool, we're friends, we're still friends, even after this conversation went a little bit bad, and you're going to see why. Uh, and I talk about my hobby, which is archaeology, and he's had a long day, and he's like, dude, I don't want to sound like a douche, however, it's not really my thing, can we give it a rest? And I just say, yeah, of course, he's my friend, of course we do. And then when I'm, I, I take his, though I do take it to heart, this is, this is how I prove I'm a good friend. I look into the stuff he mentioned. Like he mentioned, oh, there's a couple of skeptics who got some different ideas and stuff. So I decided to look a few more of them up and look into it. I went, wound up coming across the James Randi Educational Foundation, who I think do some great work. Exposing people who are trying to scam you for money using pseudoscience, logical fallacies, and bad understandings of things is a great thing. So that's on the good side of skepticism. I also ran into the negative side of skepticism, where they conflate terms, use logical fallacies, poison the well, and it's not even proper skepticism. It's actually debunking, uh, which to Mr. Randy's credit, he has often said in public, I'm not a debunker. I'm not a debunker. Debunkers go out there with the idea that you're wrong and they're going to prove it. He says, I just haven't seen anyone prove claims of the supernatural yet. It might happen, but I haven't seen it yet. Fair cop. Fair cop. I, for, I've had my supernatural experiences. Milan, my skeptical good friend Milan, has had his supernatural experiences. Do either of us run off screaming that we are the messiahs and you must listen to us? Well, it'd be funny. However, no. No, we don't. Um, no, probably make for a pretty good prank. However, I've run into the toxic side of skepticism. Um, and what I ran into is people saying, oh conspiracy theorists, you know, hurt this many people and these people have died because of having conspiracy theories. And I th just looked at the Ruby Ridge uh, case and I said, well, no, that's not because they had conspiracy theories. They holed up in a bunker um, and were toting guns around when a whole bunch of police police officers uh, wanted to go at them. Now, personally, I think they were within their rights to have whatever racist, stupid, ignorant views uh, they wanted to have. Um, they were perfectly within their rights, in my opinion, to own guns. However, to not talk to the cops or, you know, not just have, say, we'll let one of you in to show that everything's working fine here and then you're out on your ass. Okay, I get it. That was probably a bad move on their part. However, they conflate terms on this website and it's really a good example of what not to do with skepticism. So I'd like everybody, if you're interested in the subject and how to better communicate with uh, and how not to lose the conversation thread, with a, a skeptic or a conspiracy theorist because I fully admit that these people are torn, conspiracy theorists especially, are torn between acknowledging that there is alternative science, they're more than happy to do that however when they have to give up on the stuff that they enjoy believing in, we all have stuff we enjoy believing in, let's just be honest with ourselves, however when they have to give it up, they have to choose between yelling you're part of the conspiracy and it's even bigger than I thought or saying uh, well let's understand it better and then come back to the contradictions I found earlier. The good ones do the latter. So, just a, this is just a thank you to Milan Jeftik1992. He's got a great YouTube channel. He's an up-and-coming artist uh, and comic book affectionado and potential writer. And he's, and he's got a uh, whole bunch of stuff going for him. So, uh, check him out. Check out the websites, good and bad, that I've cited and see what the difference is. Because once you figure it out, you will understand why some people get so stuck into the alternative community and why they disavow science because some people poison the well for them. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. Thank you very much for your time. And Milan, we're still friends, bro. Catch you later.